Thank you for staying. Thank you for joining us for the news belt of the show. Let's start with some fix the country news. And campaigner Oliver Vormauer says he will file an official complaint with the Inspector General of Police over the breach of COVID protocols at the funeral of the late General Secretary of the New Patriotic Party, Kwejo Ouswefri, popularly known as Sir John. President Okofuado, Vice President Dr. Mohamed Dubalmia, and the Chief Justice were all present when hundreds of people crammed into each other in what the Ghana Medical Association described as a super spreader event. The latest executive instrument enacted by the president bans such funerals. Oliver Vomawa says he will sue the Attorney General if no one is prosecuted. We are going to go ahead with a complaint, a formal complaint to the police and lodge a complaint about the funeral. Now, if the decision is made against not prosecuting this individual, we are going to challenge the exercise of prosecutorial discretion around this in the, in the Supreme Court. So that's what we are going to do within the means of the law, as much as citizens who want to be vigilant in the protection of our constitutional rights. Secondly, every citizen, and one of the reasons why the Constitution gives the president immunity is that it expects that certain things can be dealt with the political process. And every citizen can petition parliament to call for the impeachment of the president. It is, it is a, it's a clear direction of duty that I do not think that we should take them for granted. Our constitution provides those remedies for us to test them and to hope that our constitutional democracy will grow from the experiences like this. So we personally, and I myself personally, would pursue those routes. If the system that we have put in place fails to produce the results that our constitutional democracy expects, the best we can do is to continue to push that conversation. Uh, and, and, and as long as we continue to do this and undermine the authority of the, of the, uh, the 1992 Constitution, we should also be aware that there may come to a point where the constitutional document will be so abused that the Fourth Republic itself may be in jeopardy.